Miss Schoenfield. Sandra, first we want you to know we appreciate you taking a little time to talk to us. We know you care about the kids and we apologize if Gabby was a distraction. I'm sorry she was embarrassed, but the law is pretty clear. No prayers in public school. There are students who that offend, so we have to think of all of them. Bishop, is this a new school policy? Nelson, yes, as a public school, we've been told that we can no longer have prayers in public school. You've seen the news, no prayers at football games. It's the law. Nelson, we're all having a hard time with the changes. Tradition is hard to change. Yes. Sandra, well, let's be sure we really understand it then. There are kids of all different faiths at this school. Seems we should make sure they are not singled out over religions, but rather made to feel comfortable. Oh, I apologize if I made Gabby feel uncomfortable. I just want her to know the rules. Bishop, well, let's look at them. I happen to have a copy from the school board. I have to say this is a little confusing. It must have been hard for them to figure out a way to compromise. Nelson, I think they're still figuring it out. Bishop, yes, but here's where the Supreme Court is so far. You're right. You can't pray at a football game. No public school can be seen as endorsing a particular religion. Schoenfeld, exactly. Sandra, but as for individual students, here's what they can and can't do. They can have a religious club, but they can't proselyte. They can wear religious symbols like crosses and hijabs, and they can pray in school, so long as it is not disruptive to other students. And that's the end.